Hi there. Today is March the 15th and we're continuing our journey through the book of Numbers in Hebrew Bamidbar in the desert, part of the Torah. And we've come today to the last part of chapter 22 and into chapter 23. This is continuing the story of the prophet Balaam from Mesopotamia and his and the request of Balak, king of Moab, for him to come and curse the people of Israel. But of course, Balaam's already said to Balak that he can't do that because God has told him that the people of Israel are blessed and he cannot uh, call what is blessed by God um, cursed. However, through a vision, through a permission that seems to be given to Balaam, he goes with Balak's messengers, and then there's this well-known story of him travelling on the donkey, and the angel of the Lord appearing before uh, um, Balaam's donkey, and not and stopping and not being able to go any further. Balaam can't see the angel of the Lord, and he gets angry with the donkey and thinks the donkey is being obstinate, and he beats the donkey. And this happens a second time, and this happens in a field, and the donkey is afraid again, sees the angel of the Lord, so this time he crushes Balaam's foot against a, uh, a wall, and Balaam beats the donkey, and then a third time the donkey just falls from underneath him, and, and Balaam continues beating the donkey in anger. And then the donkey speaks to uh, Balaam, it's the only... Um, example in the Bible where we find an animal given a voice and the, the, the donkey actually speaks to Balaam and upbraids him for what he's doing because Balaam can't see the angel of the Lord and then the angel of the Lord reveals himself to Balaam and he can be seen and tells Balaam that uh, he shouldn't be beating the donkey because actually if the angel of the Lord ha had come anywhere near him he would have killed Balaam and left the donkey whole. And he says again, reiterates, the angel of the Lord reiterates that it's only the words that God gives that Balaam can speak. He can only really speak blessing over the people. So in chapter 23, Balaam arrives with King Balak. Balak says, uh, why didn't you come the first time I called? Come on, let's get on with it. And Balaam instructs Balak to sacrifice to the Lord, make sacrifice, burnt offerings. And then he goes up onto a high place, an outcrop, overlooking the gathering of the people of Israel. And of course, he begins to speak. And what comes out is not cursing, but blessing. He commends the people of Israel. He commends God for keeping his faithful word to them and uh, in, in part of what what um, Balaam says he says God God will not turn back God cannot repent of the blessing once he's spoken it we may be reminded here of the story of Israel um, blessing uh, blessing his son Jacob and uh, or Isaac blessing his son Jacob and the blessing being passed on um, uh, through Jacob and it can't be taken back and given to Esau Isaac can only give one blessing and it's a little like that here we can't God cannot speak a curse God cannot speak bad over what has been spoken good over and we can be so glad today that we are included in that blessing those of us who believe in Israel's Messiah Jesus uh, are included in the promise to Abraham the promise of blessing throughout the whole earth and therefore what is blessed cannot be cursed we are part of God's blessing. Have a good March the 15th.